Hi, I'm Grant Lee Shumway. I was born February 28, 1906 in an adobe home in a rural area of San Juan County, New Mexico called Jewett. It is now known as Waterflow. I am shown here in 1972 standing by a wall of the home I was born in. Six of my older siblings were born in Arizona and the others were born in New Mexico where my father owned 160 acres of land. The water in the canal, shown in the background, came from the river and had fish in it. The youngest photo of me shows me with my mother, Mary, and sister Ruth. I am the person in the upper right of this photo. I was the eleventh of twelve children of Peter Minerly Shumway and Mary Elizabeth Johnson. In 1910, father sold our New Mexico home, bought additional cattle, and moved our family to Grayson, now called Blanding, San Juan County, Utah. This map shows our estimated travel path. We followed the San Juan River so our livestock had access to water. The trip of about 125 miles took 11 days. Initially we lived in tents in Westwater Canyon on the west side of town. Eventually Dad built a rock house on homesteaded land in Recapture Canyon, about 15 miles south of town. Here I am by our old rock house with my daughter Carol Ruth and Rex's two children Andrew and Becky. The area is called Fiddler Green. We raised horses and cattle here and also had an alfalfa field, a fruit orchard and a garden. The house became known as the Milk House because this is where mother made cheese for sale. One fall my father and some older boys took our buggy and went to New Mexico for supplies. Mother felt unsafe because of the Indians. They had been watching from the surrounding cliffs and stealing things like watermelons. Mother decided we should walk to the bluff road and catch a ride to Blanding. One of our little lambs followed us. We were able to catch a ride with the mail wagon driven by my future father-in-law, Bailey Lake. We and stopped living in recapture. We had a home in town and homesteaded farmland four miles south of town. This photo shows the old milk house in 1952. My son, Rex and his cousin, Dwayne, are in the doorway. My son, Kay took the photo. Over the years spring floods in Recapture Canyon washed away the east side of the building. Kay helped restore the old milk house in 2017. This photo shows Kay standing by the restored building. When I was young many coyotes visited our homestead at night. I remember hearing them in the orchard cracking open peach pits to eat the nuts. At age 8 I was baptized a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints by John D. Rogers in a little reservoir on the northeast side of town and later confirmed by President Lemuel H. Redd. One day at school during recess Mr. Hyde from Bluff let us kids ride in his new 1912 model car. This photo shows him in Bluff giving rides. I became enamored with mechanical equipment. In 1918 my father, Peter, bought a new Buick car. It was tricky to get started because when one person turned the engine with a hand crank another person had to adjust the gas throttle and the spark timing. In this car my parents went to visit relatives in Cache Valley, Utah and Shumway, Arizona and took my younger brother, Glenn, and me. This photo shows the old schoolhouse in Shumway, Arizona south of Snow Flake. At age 12 I was ordained a deacon in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints by Albert R. Lyman after which I helped gather produce donated as fast offerings by the ward members. I attended eight grades of school and then began learning the art of trapping from my expert brother, Seth. Seth was an official government trapper. Seth was asked to kill the wolves that had been feeding on cattle south of the bear's ears. Seth and I took pack animals, guns, food, including a jar of sour dough starter and successfully went after the wolves. It took about a month. Like my brothers I was blessed with a strong athletic body. I could throw a rock across the San Juan River and was a fast runner. 
When we had a broad jump competition at school I only had to jump once because no one else could match my distance. At age 15 I was asked to be the pitcher on the city's adult baseball team. I threw with my left hand and fanned out many of the batters. I had to stop pitching after I injured my shoulder in a motorcycle accident. After I finished my schooling I worked for wages sometimes but liked the freedom of being my own boss as a hunter and trapper. The government paid me six.